Hey guys, welcome back to the Financial Freedom Channel, where we make your money work hard for you. So today I want to talk about this concept, inflation-induced debt destruction. Try to say that five times fast. So I was first introduced to this concept by a guy named Jason Hartman. Um, and so let's talk about inflation, okay? And how it can create wealth. There's actually a lot of ways that inflation can destroy wealth. So um, what is inflation? So first I wanna talk about some numbers here. Over the last 10 years, okay, according to the US government, uh, last 10 years, the average inflation has been 1.7% per year, okay? Um, now, there's a guy, there's a guy named John Williams. He runs a website called Shadow Stats. And he believes that this number is misrepresentative of the actual rate of inflation. Um, he thinks the actual inflation is about 5% higher per year. So that would put us at 6.7% inflation. Uh, and he's got a, he does a, a podcast with Jason Hartman. If you look up Jason Hartman podcast, John Williams, you'll find it. Um, so I want to talk about what an inflation figure like this does when we borrow, you know, an 80% loan. What does it do to that, that borrowed money in an investment like real estate? So... At year zero, okay, let's say, I'm going to take the example from yesterday. Let's say we've got a $425,163 uh, annual mortgage payment, okay? So at year zero, that's what we're paying, you know, inflation doesn't doesn't act right away what we pay what we pay initially our debt payments up front that's the actual value um, as we go over time so we get to year 10 inflation is at 6.7 percent per year our effective payment so this is what it's going to show that we're paying 425,000 for the mortgage but what that is actually valued in current dollars is 233,560, okay? Now, this is because each year, the dollar is losing 6.7% of its value, okay? So if, say we have money saved, so say we have 100,000 in the bank, okay? Or even 1,000 in the bank, doesn't really matter what it is. If we have 1,000 in the bank, and we're just, we're just keeping it there, we lose whatever the inflation rate is each year on that money. The dollar depreciates at this rate of inflation, okay? We're just holding on to it. The same thing is true of debt. If, if we borrow money for 30 years to buy real estate, that payment is locked in over 30 years, okay? But the value of the dollar is declining, okay? So this is, a lot of people think appreciation is what makes people rich in real estate. You know, the, the property appreciates in value over time. It's actually a bigger factor, this factor of the debt depreciating, leveraging that investment, having the debt depreciate over time because of inflation. Like this is the hidden wealth creator, guys. Um, 
And I know some of you are going to have questions about this. You know, the government reports 1.7% inflation. You know, why is this John Williams guy? Why is he saying it should actually be 5% higher? Uh, and I still need to dig into that more uh, in his website, which is shadowstats.com. Um, but I get the sense, I mean, I have the sense that, you know, the government we know is printing a ton of money, right? quantitative easing, you know, bank bailouts, all this stuff, the government we know is printing a ton of money. So for the inflation rate to be 1.7%, that, that just doesn't, it doesn't jive with, with, with our experience of the world. Um, so this, uh, I want to nail this down a little bit better. Uh, you know, this is kind of a rough number 5% more than what the government is reporting. He thinks it's anywhere from 3 to 7% of what the government is reporting. I just took kind of the, the middle point. Um, but I'm really, I'm really interested in this idea of debt depreciating over time because of inflation and how that builds wealth for investors. Um, and I mean, you see it right here. You know, to be paying 425000 the first year of the loan, and then to effectively be paying 233560 because the dollar is declining in value. Just to, to give another example here, so let's say at year zero, you know, a dollar is worth a dollar. At year 10, if the inflation rate is 6.7%, that dollar is now worth 55 cents, okay? It's almost half of what it was worth 10 years ago if inflation is 6.7. So, yeah, you know, I, I really want to dig into this more. I'm curious if, if any of you have any insights about how inflation builds wealth for investors who are highly leveraged. It's kind of intuitive that it works that way, but I want to be able to model it a little bit more accurately, actually build out models so that I can really figure out, you know, what is my, what percentage return is coming from this concept of debt being destroyed as a result of inflation. So yeah, that's what I wanted to cover today. Thanks for being here. Hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss any future videos and I'll see you guys next time.